Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you how easy it was for me to upgrade my Ubuntu Gutsy Given to 8.04, the Hardy Huron. Now it was pretty nice, pretty straightforward. I made sure that my system was up to date, right? So in the update manager that pops up when you get into your Ubuntu, I made sure that I did all the updates first and that there was nothing further to check. And once it was blank and ready to go, I was able to upgrade to the latest stable release, 8.04. So click on upgrade, read the release notes, anything in there, of course, back up your information, right? Back up anything you don't wanna lose just in case, uh, then proceed with the upgrade, right? So when you go through the screens, put in your password, of course, because this is a major upgrade. We need to authenticate and we proceed with the setup wizard. Nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary. It's straightforward, right? It has to prepare itself first, get the installer, get uh, the packages, and then install the packages, right? So first things first, it's gonna disable anything that it no longer requires, right? We don't want conflicts with other sources. We don't want conflicts with other files. So it will prompt you to remove and disable things and you'll have to acknowledge that. Then it will go ahead and download from the repositories the required packages and there's quite a few. It took me over two hours to download 900 megs of uh, files basically that later on it installed, right? So that was uh, not as fast as I'd like but hey, that uh, it was a busy day I guess, a lot of people installing from the same server so it took over two hours but uh, that's fine. Once it, it, it downloaded and installed, everything went smooth and I just let it go. And then once it was done, it removed any temporary files, like I said, cleaned up after itself, and then obviously restarted the computer. So when you restart the computer in your um, grub boot menu options at the beginning, when you turn on your computer, you'll see 8.04 would be now listed there as the OS. Now in my case, I have a dual boot. So when I restart the computer, I've got 8.04, and all the kernels there, plus my Windows XP there listed because I have dual boot. And uh, if I proceed there with um, booting into the latest release 8.04, this screen was exactly the same, nothing had changed here. And then the, my login screen was actually the same too, it kept that. And I logged in with PC WizKit and user ID and password. And then I was in, back in business with the regular theme and everything that I had earlier before. So I'll let you know what else happened and what else is new in my next videos. Thank you for watching.